Live from the Sands Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Cube at AWS reInvent 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsors Amazon and Trend Micro. Welcome back, everyone. We're here live in Las Vegas. This is theCUBE, our flagship program, where we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier with Jeff Kelly. Our next guest is Mark Olison, Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Cloud Business at Splunk, one of the most successful uh, companies that has come out of this kind of new generation. Welcome to theCUBE. Thanks, John. So we're very much obviously plugged in with Splunk. We do the dot conference. Our audience knows um, the slew of embedded content we've done, Tableau as well, ServiceNow, a bunch of other, what I call modern era companies, just taking names, kicking ass. So you guys are here, um, so Amazon is a cloud company, you run the cloud business. What are you guys doing here? What's the big announcement? What's, your, what's going on for you guys, Splunk, here at Amazon, and why, why, what are you guys talking about? Yeah, I think the major thing, and Godfrey mentioned this in his keynote this morning, John, that customers are now moving their production workloads to the cloud. You know, it's been dev and test for a few years, but now it's production. And customers want to do that in a safe, secure way, and Splunk helps them do that, right? Splunk gives them the confidence to move their production workloads to the cloud. We do service assurance, so basically giving them the visibility, the confidence, the security around that. So Splunk conference this year, the theme was security. Obviously you guys are moving away from the original positioning, total market expansion, is really good, good business. We had Informatica on uh, yesterday and their pricing model is like pennies per hour. Um, and their sales guys are kind of like, wait a minute, we want to sell big licenses. So what is your business model in with the cloud? Obviously you guys are native, you're seeing a lot of use cases, certainly from, in, from business analytics to security, all that greatness that we covered. But here, what's the role in Amazon? You guys in the marketplace? Are you guys doing a strategic relationship? What's the connection with Amazon? Yeah, there's a few actually. So we're running our own Splunk in the cloud, Splunk Cloud on AWS, and for that, you know, we are taking all of the operations off of the hands of our customers. So we're running it for them, they get to use the solution. We have a few other options though. Customers can still license Splunk and put it in their own AWS stack. They run and operate it on their own. We also have Splunk for AWS. So this is really around the service assurance, right? Again, giving the customers the confidence to move those production workloads to the cloud. So you bolt on Splunk either however they want to consume it, in Winside natively with AWS service, or if they have their own kind of infrastructure within Amazon, they could bolt it in there. You know, to me, it's all about customer choice, customer flexibility. We want to be where our customers are. We want to be where our customers' data is. If it's in the cloud, it's on-prem, we're going to be there for them. Um, share with the folks out there your impression of Amazon this year. What's your take on the vibe, the positioning, obviously enterprise, the Docker news today, you know, standing ovation, the container, oh, it's clap, I mean, everyone's clapping. But, yeah. I mean, you know, that's a hot thing. So you had Aurora yesterday. What is your view on Amazon? Obviously, it's a great business opportunity, but yep. what's the vibe here? I, I think it's all about innovation. You know, people ask me, well, why are we all in on AWS? Why have we standardized Splunk Cloud on AWS? It's really about their innovation, right? They continue to drive innovation around the tech stack, gives us great efficiencies to operate our own business, and we can pass those efficiencies on to our customers. Do you see developers kind of nervous about Amazon getting locked in, or do you, do you think they're just happy with the overall performance? Again, my team is thrilled with the overall performance. And again, when you look at the other options out there, it's really a no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you talk a little bit about, uh, you, know, you mentioned you're seeing some of your customers move to production workloads into the cloud. Talk about what that means, what that really looks like from a Splunk perspective. What kind of workloads are they moving, and, and why do you think that's happening now? Yeah, you know, if you go back and you look at the, the evolution, there was a lot of debate 10 years ago around, well, what are the benefits of the cloud? And I think that debate's over now, right? There, there are clear, clearly defined benefits to the cloud. I think the debate now more is around security and control. So do I want to move to the cloud and am I willing to address the, the, you know, the control and security concerns that I may have around that? And again, I think that one's being flattened now. Right? That one's kind of being wrestled to the ground and that's why the production workloads are moving is because security is, is something that I'm comfortable with. I see that I don't lose control when I move it to the cloud, and I think that's the, that's really driving the inflection point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and specifically in this one perspective, what what are some of those workloads? Is it I mean your, your core business, of course, is machine data, yeah. data flowing off logs, that, uh, off log data off of servers and other equipment. What are some of those uh, workloads that you're seeing that are moving to the cloud? Yeah, well, that's you know, the great thing about Splunk is there's so many different use cases for it. So it, no matter what is moving to the cloud, it's producing machine data. Mm -hmm. you know, again, whether it's servers 
whether it's databases, mm -hmm. um, you know, websites, et cetera, all of that is still producing machine well, data that, yeah. that we can help analyze. It would seem to me it, you know, it, your, the cloud business at Splunk is going to follow very closely to the cloud business overall because as, as you've got more applications being deployed in the cloud, they're creating data, you want to analyze that data, you don't, data's heavy, you don't want to move that necessarily back into your in, internal infrastructure, and so right. going, using a cloud-based solution for that analysis like Splunk makes a lot of sense. It's you know, being where our customers are, being where the data is, but also if there, if there is data and, and customers have data that they don't want out in the cloud, that's great. For us, you know, we offer a hybrid search capability. Mm -hmm. So, to the user doing the search and analyzing data, they don't have to know where the data is. Mm -hmm. Data could be on-prem or in the cloud. Mm -hmm. right? We can search across both of those. So talk about security, obviously at, at dot .com, a big, big use case for you guys. Um, how are people using Amazon to take the Splunk value proposition around really looking at the perimeter's IT environment? We had, and that's a big noisy market right now, security is hot. And you know the CIA is using Amazon, so the intelligence community's kind of endorsed it. So you know, maybe they're smarter than we are, but certainly they're, they're security conscious. Okay. Right. That being said, you still got threat protection, you got incidents and breach potentials. Are people using Amazon for specific use cases for cloud? Is it for either spinning up compute or doing stuff? Have you seen anything there? Can you share? Some yeah, color there. absolutely. I think there's two things there, John. The first is, again, the customer having the confidence to move a production workload to the cloud. So will it address the security needs and AWS is at the top of their game on that. Um, in fact, when we have security discussions with our customers, when we tell them we're running an AWS, that, that often you know, flattens that discussion. So and you see a lot of activity there, specifically using cloud resources to do yep. either vector analysis or going in on threat Well, and I think then that's the separate piece. So one is just the security of, of the data being in the cloud. Yep. Then, well, how can we take advantage of the cloud to drive improved security? And the clouding gives us the opportunity to correlate different data sources, right? So you can really answer better questions, Mark, know I what's got, prioritized. I got to ask you, you're an industry veteran, you're at Mercury, you're at McAfee, now you're at Splunk. So what is the cloud business now? You're the general manager, which means you have a p and which means you got to deliver some, some business, which means value, go to customers and get paid for it, all that good stuff. But you've got a historical perspective. I mean, a lot of the web apps onboarding Gen 1, it's pretty, pretty straightforward compared to today with mobile, cloud, data. Talk about the comparison between kind of like that old web app development in the enterprise and native web apps to where it's going on today. And what, is the, and what does your business look like? What are you, products are you selling? How does it all weave together? Right, um, well again, the, the notion of, of going to the cloud and being in the cloud and having an offering is because that's what customers are looking for. They, we, again, um, you know, customers like FINRA, customers like Nike, that, uh, that we talked about uh, this morning in, in, in the keynote, don't want to run the solution. So we're just taking that operations off the hands of our customers so they can, so they can use it. Separately, I mean, you think you back, well, what is the machine data that we are analyzing? And what are the use cases around IT ops, around application delivery, around security, around compliance? And um, it's being where the data is, it's being able to, to ingest All it right, and so I got to ask it. you the, the hard question. What can we do now with DevOps and cloud that people was a reach 10 years ago? What are, what, are, what are the th new things available now? Because now you got compute, you got all, spinning up stuff, standing up stuff fast. What, what's available now? You would, you know, time machine from 10 years yeah. ago to now. What's available for, for businesses? I think the big difference is back then, you had to really design your structure beforehand. You had to know what, what, what data was coming in, you had to know where to put it. Now you don't, right? Now you can just create indexes on the fly. Um, you can search that data, and you don't have to do all of that heavy lifting up front. We just couldn't do that 10 years ago. So, so more, more application productivity than all that good goodness. Being able to ingest any type of data, no matter what the format. All right, so to. you guys, I know you got to run to a press conference. Really appreciate you coming on, swinging by, give us the update. What's going on in the show here? What are you guys announcing? What's going on for you here at the show? What meetings you have? Who you met with? <laughs> Tell us everything. Ah, customers, <laughs> partners. <laughs> press, uh, analysts, so we're, we're covering all of that. But you know, four big things for us, Splunk Cloud is, is running on AWS. We've got Splunk Enterprise, the customers to license to run on, on AWS. We've got our Splunk for AWS, which is our service assurance to give customers the confidence to move those workloads into the cloud. And we have Hunk available by the hour, right, on Elastic MapReduce, running on AWS. Awesome. So we are all in. 
All right, so what is your business objective this year? You get the cloud business with the GM, you're running, running the show there. What's your, what's your metrics for this year? So when we talk to you next year at, uh, at .conf and, and Amazon, what are your key objectives? Key objectives is it's all about customer choice. I want to make sure that when our customers are looking at on-prem or cloud, that we've got a phenomenal cloud option and offering for them to choose. And just milestones in terms of market share, market expansion, hiring, all of the above? All of the above. <laughs> Again, you know, given the market demand, given the customer demand, they're, they're looking for cloud, and you know, cloud's a very rapidly growing right. business for us. All right, great. Last question, comment, I want to leave you the last word. What's the bumper sticker on this show? If you had to put in a bumper sticker on this show this year, what's it all about? I, innovation. This AWS continues to innovate and give partners like us the opportunity to more efficiently operate our own business and pass that along to our customers. All right, Mark Olson, SVP General Manager of Splunk Cloud, off to his next press conference, big press conference. Thanks for stopping by theCUBE, really appreciate it. We'll be right back after this short break.